All right, third, presumably final X on our stage today. You'll notice that the castle started to crumble a bit, showing our wanton destruction as we move through it. Um, too bad for the castle, huh? Anyway, this is the stage where my drunkenness at this point really starts to kind of hurt me. Um, so I apologize for that. The first instance of this is right here. Now, you'll notice there's a life and energy, neither of which I need, but both of which I feel a need to show you how to get. You get them with that most useless of weapons, the strike chain. But as you can see, and as I'm sure many of you know, moving a large round object like that through a small hole is somewhat difficult. And this is just really starting to be a pain in the butt. To be quite honest, when I play this game normally, I don't even bother with either of these. But there you go. And again, you'll notice I didn't need that energy because my sub tanks are full. Grr. So, here the pipe maze from Super Mario Bros. 3 comes back to haunt us. For, for now, it's pretty tame. Um, the next one will not be quite so nice to us. This level really makes you kind of balance risk and reward. Like, those three capsules there are kind of intimidating to get. Um, but, you know, worth it if you need them. This will really come to fruition when the secret capsule will be getting in this level. Um, you know, it's really hard to get, but totally worth it. Well, not how I play this, but normally it's totally worth it. So, I'm going to apologize right now for this section. Originally I was going to edit it out, but couldn't really figure out a nice smooth way to do it. So, uh, enjoy. <laughs> I'm going to say the cliche, I normally don't have this much trouble with it, and it honestly is true, but it's still just a pain in the butt. I mean, the worst part though is that it's possible to get it in such a position where, like, no matter what you do, you can't get back on it, in which case you have to go back to the bottom and start over. The reason it's so necessary is that you, well, kind of, need to get this to the top to get the uh, secret capsule. However, an alternative way is to take these two bats that we're seeing here, bring them over to this out of reach ladder, and use the crystal hunter on them to um, freeze them, and you can jump on them, use them as a platform, and get up here. The game expects you to die multiple times at this part, as noticed by all the life and one up she'll see lying around. Um, it's really not too bad, but, you know, this is kind of the trickiest part. Um, it's kind of stereotypical Mega Man stuff, but you have to be very careful with your air dashing and speed burner used to get through it. If you didn't know about this, you would have gone, like, the secret area in the wall. Uh, you would have gone through all that and then been like, what did I do this for? Dr. Light says a very true fact, and then um, we can get our special surprise. In Mega Man X, you might recall it was the Hadouken. This time, it's its often misused counterpart the Shoryuken, which those of us who spent our many hours of our childhood trying to get the Hadouken to work did accidentally. To this day, I've never intentionally used a Shoryuken. Not for want of trying, mind you. Um, this next part you may just want to skip. It's kind of embarrassing. You'll see there are a lot of spikes. Um, you can kind of air dash between them, but the least risky way to get through it is just by taking hits from those bugs and just kind of uh, tanking your way through. Now here we're going to fight a very, very different form of Agile compared to how he was the first time. Like, that doesn't even make sense. His weakness is technically the magnet mines, as you'll see here. However, normally when I play this game, um, I use his alternate weakness, which is the shore you can as soon as you enter the room. Kills him in one shot, just as it does for most enemies, if not all, and uh, you're good. Charged up magnet mine works great. That thing is really scary. It used to freak me out when I was a kid. But as you can see, you just blow it up like normal. And, um, just magnet mine is silly looking sci fi self. I really, I don't understand the inspiration for this. Like, the violin wasn't that much changed. Surges, yeah, I can kind of see. But this, where'd this come from? Master? Why, who could his master possibly be? Hint, do not look at his life bar. That's just plain misleading. However, you'll have to wait till the next video to see who his master is. 
because you'll notice we didn't fight the Mavericks again, which we have to go do now. So, that's what's coming up tomorrow. See y'all then.